We're back with another educational beauty video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to apply liquid and powder highlighter the correct way. We're going to be doing it on either side of the face so you're going to see exactly how you can apply liquid highlighter, exactly how you apply powder highlighter and we're going to see the difference like how different do they really look and what's the difference in the application. Are one of these options going to be better for you based on how you apply your makeup underneath? Well let's get straight into it but before we do I would love if you head over to my online publication called Confessions of a Creative, where I talk about everything from self, travel, food, health, fashion and beauty, so much more on there. We have two subscription options. We have one which is free, which is where you get access to majority of the site. And the other one is paid, which only costs you roughly around a coffee a month and you get so much more. You get access to the full paid subscriber benefits and perks. You get a little room where we can chat and you can ask whatever questions you may have about these videos, about makeup, about anything. And I will always answer back. Now let's head into this video, but if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. I'm also over on Instagram so it'll be great to see you there. Now let's head straight into this video. So what is highlighter? Highlighter is a product that typically reflects light off. So the light kind of bounces off where you've applied that highlighter, where there's like pigments of, of kind of light. It's always a light, lighter tone than your skin tone. It's a lot lighter and the light reflects off of it, bounces off of that product and gives the illusion of a kind of almost larger surface area. And usually where we apply this is at, on like kind of peaks of the face, like the high points of the cheekbones, maybe the tip of your nose, maybe down the bridge, you know, even in this area here, the brow bone area, that's usually where we would apply it. Different areas where you know that the light would hit off and it gives more kind of dimension to the face too. Basically, it's used on areas where you kind of just want that to pop a little bit more. That's probably the easiest way to describe it. Now, there are several different kind of textures of highlighter. I'm gonna be using the two obvious ones, ones which are liquid and also powder. Now we're gonna be doing it on either side of the face because I really want you to see that even though we've got this base done, we have kind of like that kind of semi-matte-ish base. It's been set with my powder. So the foundation is all done and then you would move on with ever, whichever, <laughs> none of that came out right. You would move on with whichever product you choose to actually apply, which in our case today is the highlighter. So I wanna show you how you can still apply that when you've already kind of set your makeup, whether it be liquid or powder. And I wanna show you the difference in it as well. So let's see what kind of works better, what looks better, what looks more kind of natural. Maybe you don't want that natural look. Either way, this is a video for us guys to sit and kind of together, kind of like work out like what looks better, how you would apply it as well, so that you guys know how you can apply it. So I'm gonna get started firstly with the liquid one. For the liquid highlighter, I'm using my Hollywood Flawless Filter, and this is number five, tan. This is obviously probably a bit dark for someone who's got a lot paler skin, but this works perfectly on my skin. And I love this liquid highlighter because it's not chunky in pigment because you can get a lot of highlighters which are kind of very chunky kind of glitter in there. And I feel like it looks very fake. It doesn't look real. It doesn't look like real life. It just looks like, okay, you've definitely applied some highlighter there. So the reason I love this one so much is because you cannot see any kind of like chunks of glitter or anything. It's so ultra fun. It's just like almost like an illuminating light. So you're kind of adding a little light bulb, you know, without it looking. It's super smooth. It, you can't see any kind of chunks of glitter, any particles or anything. It's really, really nice and natural. And that's why I like that as a liquid highlighter as, a, as opposed to, you know, other ones. Like even the Rare Beauty one, I feel like it's too much. It's just too glittery for me. So I feel like this is a really good option if you want something to look quite natural. Now, ultimately, where we want to apply this are kind of areas is where it can help to pop and enhance, right? So that's what we're gonna do on this side. Now I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna put it onto the back of my hand so we have a decent amount there. And I'm gonna show you, there you go. So you can see we've got a decent amount there and you can see how it is lighter than my skin tone. Now, the next step, what I do is I get a sponge, any kind of sponge, a beauty blender, whatever sponge you wanna use. And I use the round part of it at the bottom of the sponge. And what I'm gonna do is kind of like swirl it into this but make sure 
it's there's no kind of like chunks of this there's not like a big dollop of it on the sponge right i just want to make sure it's nicely evenly coated and i'm going to actually start by applying it on the peak of the cheekbone now the peak of the cheekbone is kind of the highest point so if you look on the side here you can see my cheekbone kind of like the highest point is kind of here that's the easiest way to figure it out on yourself always look in the mirror but don't look here because you can't see it's all flat right there are no curves visible if you move your face this way then you can see that's the highest point put your finger where the highest point is and that is your point where you're going to be applying your highlighter so let's just go ahead and apply this here to that highest point can you see that just like coming through now it's a really nice highlighter add more if you want to it's very natural there you go i absolutely love this so what we've done is we've applied it there to the highest point which was there remember that's a really good trick for you guys figure it out by looking to the side so you can figure out where the highest point is and then you apply it there rather than figuring it out when you're looking at your face in the mirror and it looks all flat and you can't see any of the curves so that's where we've applied it here right you can keep going and apply more there if you want to or it really is down to personal preference now where else can we actually apply this here i think we could also apply this to the kind of brow bone and i'm going to use the tip of the sponge now and i'm going to apply this right there which is just kind of like below my brow on the kind of arch area can you see that how that's kind of like it really looks lifted now i don't know if that was natural or if i actually just did that with the highlighter but yeah it's kind of like that's another area where you can highlight with this liquid highlighter too then next up another area you can use is just kind of like the tip of the chin i feel like this is also a good area to just it gives you that kind of lip from within glow but it makes those areas pop look how that's just made it's not just that one area we've worked on you know different parts of the face which are pretty spread out to help kind of like give that more of a kind of just enhanced look and make it pop a little bit more now what you can do also and sometimes i do do this is i go on kind of like an area of the forehead there this is actually a peak of my forehead because if i turn to the side i can see that that's a little bit kind of you know coming out there so that actually helps to just kind of give more dimension to the overall look. Look at the difference now. We've got complete matte finish there, and then you've got all this kind of like, you know, it's just popping there. That's the liquid highlighter. So that's the correct way to apply a liquid highlighter. Now we're gonna move on to the other side and be using a, and be using, and we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna use the powder highlighter. Now I'm gonna be using my Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in 01 Mood Light. There are two different shades in here. I'm gonna be using this one here because I find this one a little bit white, which is why I've never really touched it. I'm gonna use my Zoeva 134 brush. You want a brush which is kind of like, a kind of medium size, not too big, because you want it to really kind of like work along these smaller areas now what i'm going to do is like swirl my brush around in this powder highlighter and i'm going to start in the same place and then go in the same order now we're going to find out where the peak is right it's probably the same place as the other side which is there right i'm happy with that area so now we're just going to like very lightly go over with this powder highlighter can you see that coming through now the difference is is with a powder highlighter there the pigments are a lot thicker than anything you're going to get in it well certain liquid highlighters like there are liquid highlighters which are very chunky but this one in particular is great so you're not gonna can you see like immediately i feel i'm i mean i can see in the mirror this looks lit from within this looks chunky glitter this looks like whoa she's got highlighter on i've applied it in the right place but how much you apply is down to you now i don't really want this much i'd probably use my finger to kind of lighten it a little bit so it's not so heavy but i am going to go a little bit heavier just so that you guys can actually see it better so i've just kept it on the area which is similar to the other area i still prefer this but i've kept it just around that area there now the other area that i want to apply it is kind of under the brow bone there just a little bit is enough there you can see we've got that and then also let's apply it to just the tip of the chin there 
and then we can apply a little bit here i feel my honest opinion is that when i have texture which everyone I, I think most people do have texture if i have texture on my skin in certain areas i don't feel like my liquid highlighter enhances that texture as much as a powder highlighter does so i'm telling you now if you want something that looks a bit natural works with your skin better kind of like you know is understanding of your texture a little bit better, then I would go for a liquid highlighter such as the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. A powder highlighter is always gonna, I feel, enhance any kind of texture. Like that to me is just awful for me. I just don't like it. But my main thing was I wanted to show you how to apply the powder highlighter in the correct way so that you understand the best way to apply it as well. Now that now we've got like two different sides, right? I really would love to know what side you prefer, like what you're leaning more towards. My personal opinion is the liquid highlighter side. And again, it's not just because it's liquid highlighter. It is truly a lot more down to which liquid highlighter it is. You're, you may kind of like lean more towards the powder maybe, but personally, even close up, I feel like this looks way better than this i feel like the liquid highlighter is kind of melted into my skin and it actually looks like a lit from within glow whereas this i feel like kind of separates it like you've got all this nice nice kind of like matte finish and then all of a sudden you've got this area where it's just enhancing texture like if anywhere else it's matte it's not going to really show texture as much right but this area here, I just feel like it's really kind of like, you know, I can see bumps that I have here. I mean, I might be more textured on that side than the other, than this side, but ultimately I feel like it is really enhancing texture. It really is down to like, if you feel like liquid works better for you or powder works better for you, it's just kind of a personal preference. Like sometimes I'll be honest, I used to stay away from liquid highlighter and stick to powder highlighter, even though I hated the fact that it kind of enhanced my texture. I used to stay away from liquid highlighter because I felt that because I've got like a matte finish and I prefer that because otherwise how is your makeup going to last all day I felt like that liquid highlighter was going to kind of like just make everything melt you know it was just really ridiculous I just felt like oh it's just going to like take away the matte finish that I have and it's just going to nothing's going to stay put the makeup there's going to come off quicker and it took me to kind of take that jump in and just have a little bit of faith and trust and just use my liquid highlighter as an additional add-on as opposed to applying it underneath. It looks great if you apply it underneath your foundation and everything, but ultimately your foundation on your base isn't gonna last as long if you use a liquid highlighter underneath your foundation. I then decided, let me just add it on top even after I've set my entire base and just see how it goes. And it sat perfectly. I didn't have a problem with it kind of like ruining my makeup or anything. So it's definitely something I would recommend. I would personally highly recommend sticking to the liquid highlighter side and again using that type of product as opposed to something which is kind of like chunky glitter but again it's down to you it's what your personal preference is but ultimately both of these products you can apply after you can apply at the end because I feel like a lot of people tend to come back to me and say oh when at what point in my application should I be applying my liquid highlighter because they kind of assume that the application process and order is very different for liquid highlighter to a powder highlighter you don't have to change it at all. You can apply them both right at the end, but the finish that you're gonna get with a liquid highlighter, way better. Like, can we just zoom in just a little bit? Way better, way better here. I mean, this, I can see all that texture and it's not good. So I really do hope that this has helped. I really do hope this is something you're gonna try yourself and that it's kind of made it a lot easier. Honestly, highlighter doesn't have to be so difficult. It's such an easy thing if you just kind of be very strategic with your application and you don't apply it kind of over the cheek area. The highest peaks, just a little bit is more than enough. Honestly, I've probably applied a little bit more today just so that I, you know, you can really see the difference, but you don't have to hide it away as much. You can kind of like just, you don't have to kind of make it so obvious. You can make it a lot more subtle. It doesn't have to be so kind of in your face that, oh, I've applied so much highlighter. So just take it easy, you know, be very kind of, like I always say with everything, like keep it small. You can always make something look bigger, but just keep it small initially so that you can really kind of keep it subtle and then build yourself, build your way up to more pigment if you want to. So I hope you've enjoyed this today. 
And if you have any questions, please do let me know because if there's any specific video you guys want to see, maybe you want to see like, you know, different texture highlighters, let me know in the comments box below. I always read your comments and I will always try, if I'm getting a question that pops up quite a lot, I will always create a video on it to solve that problem for you. And yeah, I am sending you loads of love wherever you are in the world. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.